Good morning, friends. Today we are going to be moving on to the next letter of our alphabet, which is the letter D. The materials you're going to need today is the same as most days. You're going to need your piece of paper. You're going to need something to write with. You're going to need some paint brushes. You're also going to need your paints today. And you're going to need some pieces of bubble wrap. So mom and dad, if you have some bubble wrap at home that you can pre-cut into small pieces like I have here um, for your child to use for this project, that would be fantastic. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to write our letter D. Using your drawing utensil, you are going to make one big straight line just like we did when we made the letter B. One straight line, just like so. Now we're going to do a nice big belly on that D. Connecting from the top to the bottom, D. As always, I'm going to go ahead and darken my D up so that when we paint on top of it, we can see it very clearly still. And when you're holding your pencil, make sure you're holding it like this. Pinch with two fingers or three fingers. Never grip like this. Use your two pinchers, pinch, 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 and pinch the top of your writing utensil. And there we go. Now I have my letter D ready to go. Next, you are going to need one piece of your bubble wrap. And what you wanna make sure is there are two sides to the bubble wrap. One side is very smooth, while the other side is the side that can feel all those little bubbles. It's usually the side that we like to sit there and pop the bubbles. That is the side you are going to paint, not the smooth side. So I'm going to start with one color and I am going to paint the entire strip just on the bubbles. I am not going to make sure it goes all the way into the creases, I just want to paint my bubbles. Very carefully and very lightly brushing over top of all of the bubbles, just like you see here. Again, nice and light, lightly brushing. And it's okay if you have to keep dipping into the paint, that is no problem. I'm using lots of paint to make sure that all of those bubbles are nicely covered. Need a little bit more paint on these ones. And a little more on these ones. And now all of my bubbles are colored. Now I am going to take my bubble paper and I am going to press it very gently. I'm not popping the bubbles. I'm going to press it nicely onto the paper, making sure that all the paint transfers from the bubble wrap to my paper. I'm going to lift it off the paper very carefully using the corner and we have made dots. Dots begins with the letter D. So as you can see, it didn't quite come all the way down to the bottom of the paper, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to repaint the bubbles lightly, and then I'm going to re-stamp onto the areas that didn't quite get colored. 
Okay, got it all nice and painted. Now I'm going to gently set it on the bottom part of the paper, mostly pressing on the white area that didn't get any paint. And again, I'm not pressing so hard that it's popping the bubbles. You want to pet it nicely, just like you're petting a kitty cat. Okay, just like so. Now I'm going to peel this off and I have lots of dots. Now that this color is all done, I am going to set that in the side for garbage. Next, I'm going to do my other color and I'm going to use red. So now I have a nice clean piece of uh, bubble wrap. I'm going to make sure that I have the bubble side on top because that's what I'm going to paint. Using my red paint, very gently brushing the paint onto the dots on the paper or on your bubble wrap. Again, I'm going to make sure I do the whole entire thing so that every little dot is colored or has some color on it for the most part. And again, I'm not pressing really hard. I don't want to go in between the dots. I just want to color the dots themselves. Okay, so yours should look like so. Now I'm going to take it. I'm going to lay it on top. And I'm going to press. Very gently. Now I'm going to lift from the corner and I have some red dots. I'm going to do that again. For mine, I am using three different colors, but you can use any amount of colors that you would like. You can make your dot paper very colorful with lots of rainbow um, colors. You can do neon colors. You can do one whole color if you would like. Um, completely up to you guys at home. Again, this is hanging up on your wall. You're the ones that have to look at it. So whatever helps you remember that D is for dots works for me. Okay, and I'm going to line it up again. Oops, slid it over too far. Line it up again. Lightly press on my paper. I want to be very careful because this over here is already, um, it's very wet still. And as you can see, I got some paint on myself. I don't want to smear what I've already done. I want to turn my paper if I have to so that I'm just touching the bubble wrap. Pull that off. And I'm going to see if I can cover the rest of the bottom here without having to repaint my bubble wrap. Pressing lightly. And presto, I now have some red dots on my paper. I'm going to do one more color. I have a new sheet of bubble wrap. And we're going to do the color blue. I'm going to do the three primary colors. And because it's a dark color, I want to be extra careful when I'm brushing it onto my paper. As you can see, it's super dark, and the more paint I have on there, the more likely it's going to bleed into each other, and it's not going to look like dots anymore. It's just going to look like a big blob on my paper. So I'm very carefully making sure that I color just the dots. Okay, have it just about covered, just like so. All the dots are done. And again, I'm going to lay it on the white part of my paper and gently press. See, just like so. 
just make sure all the paint goes on there. Perfect. Now I have one more small section to go. I'm going to paint a little bit of my paper. I'm not going to do the whole paper because I don't have that big of a section. I just need a little more to finish the blue part. So I did just down here. I'm going to lightly press that onto the bottom of the paper and gently press, 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 press. And presto, you have a beautiful dot colored paper. D is for dots. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, I find this project really simple and really, you know, hands on at home. Um, again, I love using paints so that the kids can get messy, um, so you guys can get messy. Um, <clears throat> and D is for dots, great way to remember it. I hope you guys have fun doing this and you can hang these up on your wall with the rest of your um, pictures that we did this week. Um, tomorrow we um, are going to go on to the next letter of the alphabet, so I can't wait to see you then. Bye guys.